Hello everyone. Today we're going to be working on creating a part file using an existing assembly file. So I'm going to start off by opening up an assembly file. We have our drawer assembly here. As you can see with our components, it does seem that we are currently missing a few parts. We're going to need to add a handle to the front face here. And if you're looking at our components, there does seem to be a notch for a base plate. We don't want anything to fall through our drawer, so we're going to start off by creating that base plate here. I'm going to go to my insert components drop down menu and select new part. And then I'm going to select a face from that notch to build that part off of. I can select those corners as external reference points and just snap them on there. Now I can go ahead and use my extruded boss tool, use that up to surface end condition and select this face. Rather than doing the measurements ourselves, we'll have the software do the work for us. And as you can see, we can easily create that base plate. I'm going to come over here and rename that part. We'll call it base plate. And I'll edit that material as well. We'll set it to maple wood to match the rest of our parts. Once that's done, I can toggle out of my edit component tool and we'll come around and create our handle. So following the same procedure, I'll use that insert components drop down and the new. And I'm going to start off by creating our two edge pieces of our handle. So I'm going to create a sketch on this face. Then I'm going to convert these holes. These are going to be our screw holes. So I'm going to want that cut out. Now I'm going to want these two to be equal to each other. And I can add a smart dimension here. So we'll set that to 0.3 inches. And then using our extruder boss tool, we're going to use a blind end condition. We're going to select the outer contours. We don't want that hole to extend the full duration of our extrusion. So instead, we're going to create a separate extruded cut using that same sketch. We're going to clear out the selection, and this time we're going to select the inner circles as our contours. We're going to flip the direction and then assume a length of 0.5 for our screw holes. So as you can see here, we have our holes built in to our handles now. Now that we have our side profiles, we're going to go ahead and create our front profile for our handle. So I'm going to go ahead and create a sketch on this face here. And I'm going to actually create points at the center of these circles. Once that's done, I'm going to add a horizontal line to connect them. And I'm going to use those points to create smart dimensions. We're going to set those to extend 0.5 inches forward. And then we're going to use the swept boss tool. As you can see here, we only have our sketch profile. So knowing that we want it to be a circle, I can set our diameter to 0.3 inches and then select our sketch. And then the last thing we're going to want to do is add our fillets. So I'll select this edge here and we'll set it to 0.15. Click OK. And then we'll come around and edit this material. Set that to steel and toggle our edit component. So as you can see, we have our handle created. And as you might have noticed, our two part files are currently within brackets. So that signifies that our bracket or our part file rather is currently a virtual component. Virtual components do not have a file location. 
They exist solely within an assembly file and they are not able to be edited outside of that assembly file. So if you want to access this handle outside of the assembly, you're going to want to save that as an external file. I could right click on this here and go to save part in external file. Using this pop-up uh, pop menu, I can click same as assembly. And that's going to save my file in the same location as my assembly file. If I hit OK now, as you can see, if I go to my file locations, we now have our handle in the same location as our drawer file. As you can see as well, our handle no longer has those brackets, signifying that is a virtual component. So that is how you create part files within an existing assembly. Hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day.